All right, let's try another one. I'm at the bottom of 204, and uh, let's draw the picture. The picture looks very similar to what we've been talking about. Did I say 4? I just said 4, didn't I? I meant 9. I'm sorry. I looked at 9, and for whatever reason, I said 4. Oops, what am I doing? Let's use this. 209, the bottom of 209. All right, so we got the same deal. We got two lines. Now, I didn't say parallel lines, did I? I said two lines. What? What's my, uh, how, do I, how do I say this? Two lines what? That transversal. What do I always say? What word do I use? Cut. Thank you. Cut by transversal, okay? I have two lines cut by transversal. Um, they use the same letters again, L and M. This time, this angle is angle 1, this is 2, and this is 3. All right? And this says, this is a proof of theorem 3, 6. What's 3, 6? 3, 6 says consecutive interior angles. Um, it's the converse of consecutive interior angles. So it says, what's the theorem basically say? If two lines are cut by transversal and the what? The consecutive interior angles are what? Not equal. Consecutive interior? Supplements, right? Supplementary. Okay, then what must be true? The lines must be what? Parallel, okay? That's what we're trying to prove right there. So we can't use this as a reason in our proof. You follow me? I can't just look at it and say, oh, if I know 1 and 2 are equal, you know, you just can't do that. So um, you got to you got to think of another way to do this. So if the consecutive interior angles are supplementary, then the lines are parallel. That's what we're trying to prove. Okay, we're trying to prove that truth. So let's see what's given. Well, let's see what's given first before we can do this. It says, um, it says angle 1 and angle 2 are supplementary. And you're like, well, I'm done already. If I know 1 and 2 are supplementary, they're consecutive interior angles. That must mean the lines are parallel. But I can't use that reason. Why can I not use that reason right now? Well, because that's what I'm trying to do what? That's what I'm trying to prove. I'm trying to prove that in the first place. You follow me? So I can't use that as a reason in my proof when I'm trying to prove that it's true. I don't know it's true right now. You with me? I don't know that that theorem's true until I go through and prove it. All right, so... What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to prove that 1 and 2 are supplementary by not using the theorem that says if the consecutive angles are sup or consecutive interior angles are supplementary, then the lines are parallel. All right? It's a little weird at first trying to prove a theorem. Um, after a while, you'll get used to it. Let's just keep going. All right? And so what are you trying to prove? You're trying to prove that the lines are parallel. So L is parallel to M. All right, so we set up a, uh, what do we call this little situation right here with this line across and this line down here? What do we call these? Yeah, but in our proof. We said it earlier. I only said it once or twice, but do you remember? Statements and reasons. What do we call this whole situation? We call it a, what kind of a proof? I got one here and I got one here. What are these? Reason. Two columns, right. It's a two-column proof. It's a two-column proof. All right, so the first column is statements no but there are paragraph proofs okay and we're not going to do a paragraph proof right now but later on we will Th to tell you the truth the um the two column proof is basically just a high school thing in college you hardly ever i don't think i ever did a two column proof in college we did tons of proofs in college but i don't think we ever did a two column proof basically they do a two column just to kind of uh, to make sure you organize everything real nice and easy, okay, just at first. So it's kind of an elementary thing, um, but later on when you do some sophisticated type proofs, they'd probably be more of a paragraph proof than a, than a two column. But right now, this is what most people see in geometry in high school, and that's what we're going to do right now, okay? So statements and reasons. Now, they help you out. They give you a couple statements. They leave some blank. If you look at the bottom of 209, the first part, they leave blank. They say you know, statement A or statement 1. I usually number these, okay, by putting 1, 2, 3, 4, but they used A, B, C, D, E. Um, they leave this blank, and then they said this is given. Well, it couldn't get much easier than that. What is your statement if your reason is given? Angle 1 and 2. That's right, okay, that's your given right there, so you just write that in there. So angle 1 and angle 2, whoops, 
are supplementary. Okay? So that's given. That's pretty easy. Look at the next thing. They give you the statement. They say angle 2 and 3 form a linear pair. So angle 2 and angle 3, I'll just write linear pair. Is that all right? Just to save some writing. So angle 2 and 3 form a linear pair. I mean, you just kind of look at that and see, can't you? How do you know that angle 2 and 3 form a linear pair? It's not, it's not really given. It's not up here in the given, but... What are they? They're two angles that are adjacent to each other that form a straight line. What told us if two angles were equal to each other, or I'm sorry, two angles that were adjacent and form a straight line were a linear pair? What told us that? Was that a theorem? Was it a postulate? What do you think it was? No, it wasn't even a postulate. All it was was just, what do you think? Come on. Definition, right? <laughs> okay. It was the definition. This is the definition of linear pair. When we talked about a linear pair, we said, see the situation? Two angles that form a straight line right there are a linear pair. Where do we get that? We got that from the definition of a linear pair. So that would be the reason, the definition of linear pair. We're going to use that a lot. We use definitions quite a bit. All right. So look for that every once in a while um, if you're trying to figure out a reason. A lot of times the definition of that thing is what you want to say. So. Would you agree with that? Two and three are linear pair, right? Because they form a straight line. And why are they? Because the definition tells us that they are. The definition said that two lines that form a straight line are a linear pair. That's why. Number three, they leave both of them blank. And um, what I'm going to do is this. If they form a linear pair, what else must be true about them? Let's continue for that. If they form a linear pair, they've got to be supplementary, right? Would you agree with that? Okay, so let's write that down. So angle 2 and angle 3, oops, forgot the 3, are supplementary. Okay, because they form a linear pair. That's right. And what did we say? We, say, we said that um, two angles that form a straight line are supplementary, right? And what told us that? Well, the definition... Would the following students please come to the nurse's office? Of supplementary Jamie angles. Thompson, Brooke Corsi, Wendell Smallwood, Clifton Thurman. Following students please come to the office. Freddie Canteen. Thank you. Okay, here's another step that they, they told us. Are you kidding me already? Now watch this. Look at this. If one and two are supplementary and two and three are supplementary... What do you think must be true? Watch. One and two are supplementary. Two and three are supplementary. Watch. That's right. So you see that? Two is the same thing as one, right? Actually, yeah. Right here. Stephen Hartman, Brandon Please come to the office. Two and three. So one and three are supplementary. Okay. So one and... Th Tell you what. We're going to pause this. Sorry. Um, I got a little, I got a little messed up in here. I don't really like the way they do this. I might do this proof my own, my own way. But don't leave. I want you to give it. I want, I want you to give these a shot. Okay. It's page two ten. Please don't tell me what I should be doing. Thank you. Page two ten, number twenty five to twenty eight. All right. There it is. Give them a shot. I know that you. We haven't really done enough for you to be able to do these perfectly, but give it a try. That's all I'm asking you, okay? Just give it a good shot. And the odds are in the back anyway, so you can kind of see how they did those, all right?